Hey, Gary. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, good. I can see you. I can hear you. That's great. <laughs> How are you, Gary? Yeah, um, that's good. I usually make a right mess of this, man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I never get it. Never get the video or the volume right. <laughs> So Gary, how was the day so far? Yeah, yeah, just the same old, same old at the moment, I'm afraid, you know. <laughs> Great. So Gary, uh, your new album is on Works and it should be out later this year. So would you like to tell me a bit about the upcoming album? Yeah, well, we started recording it back in uh, last year, in October last year, October, November, and uh, then we got all the backing tracks done in about a week, you know, uh, and then we did some vocals in around about March this year mm -hmm. and the album's finished and it's off and it's been mastered. So it's just sat there waiting to be released, hopefully sometime end of October this year. Um, and that's that's it. It's uh, our third album and it's, we're really excited by it. And there's a lot of varied material on there, let's say this time different influences coming in, you know, so, so should be good. Sounds amazing. And anything particular in concept or theme that was put behind this new album? Um, no, it's just basically what comes out of my head. It all seems to be the same. The older you get, it seems to be an angry old man, you know, venting his <laughs> thoughts, you know, so... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what everyone makes of it, shall we, you know? Yeah. <laughs> sounds great. Sounds great, Gary. And uh, 2019 later on, by the end of 2019, you released your album. This is a great album, amazing songs, beautifully done classic rock and metal album. So how has the success been for you in this last album? Um, well, it was received very well, you know, and uh, this is how um, it was a big step forward from Swallow, our first album, yep. back in 2017, so 2019, yeah, um, This Is Hell came out and uh, it did very well and we got lots of uh, really nice things said throughout the world, uh, messages and uh, lots of people bought it and sadly what happened in 2020 to the world happened and so it, it was stopped when it should have been full steam ahead promoting the album and, and gigging. And so now that we're back now, uh, you know, we've just played our first gig in uh, what nearly two and a half years there, uh, a couple of weeks ago up in Scotland at Bonfest. And uh, that was just great fun to be back on a stage again. You know, you just think, what are we doing? Can you remember what we're supposed to be in life? Yeah, rock band, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's just uh, great stuff, you know. Great, we're, we're really enjoying it. Amazing, amazing, Gary. And uh, are you planning to be on more touring this year until the release of the album to support This Is Hell? Well, yeah, you know, uh, when we go out and we do play gigs, we do have some more gigs this year. We've got at least six or seven gigs taking us up to the end of the year you know um and we're looking forward to playing all of those so um most of them are obviously in scotland and england uh, there's one in wales um we're doing planet rock stock in wales in december so we're looking forward to that uh, as with we're looking forward to any gig at the moment you know as i say we've been locked away that long it's just crazy let me out and let me get at it so yeah, we've got some really good gigs uh, down on the farm. We got um, we got Wayfest in Surrey coming up in August. We got HRH Slees. Uh, that that should be great fun because the HRH gigs are just always cracking. Uh, and we've done oh, at least two of them in the past now. Um, and then we've got some gigs up in Scotland. We've got Hellfest in Blackpool, I think, to go. And we've also got. Uh, Edinburgh and, as I say, Rockstock. So, you know, it, it takes a while to just get yourself into that mode again, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, but it was full on before. We were gigging nearly every weekend or so uh, for, since, since 2017, you know? So it was terrible to have to uh, bring it to an end like we did. 
So yeah, yeah, it'd be great. Anyway, we're really looking forward to seeing everybody out there, and yeah, it's great hearing people sing the songs back to you. It's wonderful. Amazing, amazing. And Band of Rick was formed back in 2016. So how has the musical journey been for you with Band of Rick? Um, really great. You know, I mean, back in 2016, when I thought, right, I, I'd really like to get some of these songs, get them out, get them on an album and uh, just put it out there and see how it goes, you know. Um, and then it was met with... Uh, yeah, it, 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 you know, I, in my own head, I just thought I'll just I'll just do that and nothing will happen, really, you know, because I didn't have a band. It was just an idea just to do it. And then everybody said, well, you got to get a band and go out on the road with these songs because it's just too good to leave just as, you know, on, uh, under the bed, or not under the bed, it was out on an album, but it's too good to not to have a band and gig this. So. So then I had to put a, a band rapidly together, you know, and uh, so from 2017, January 2017, that's when the band was formed. And just uh, in the last couple of years there, at the start of uh, lockdown, uh, my guitarist left, we got a new guitar player. And then because of lockdown, he couldn't come and see us and we couldn't see him. so. Yeah. That was a crazy situation. So uh, up until October last year, that was when he finally came, when we went in to record the album. That was the first time that everybody met each other, I'd say. And at the same time, we, we got another lead guitar player. So we've got two new guitarists in the band, uh, Richard and Andy, and both of them play lead guitar, uh, whereas we just used to be a one lead guitar band, you know, and a rhythm guitarist. So... It's exciting that way because then you're going to hear two different guys take on the the older material, you know, and obviously when the new stuff when we do for probably next year now for the the, the third album that will be next year you'll start hearing that music coming through. So um, it would be really interesting, you know, it'd be great. Amazing, amazing, and get yeah, your voices. Uh, considered as the voice of Bon Scott. So how did you feel about that compliment? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, after so many people say it, don't they? And it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, it's my birthday next week, you know, I'm going to be 61 this year, you know. So um, I'm lucky enough to have been like 15 when ACDC came over to yeah. the UK and started doing the thing. And as soon as I seen it, that was it for me at the at the young age of 15 and uh, so then I just grew up with ACDC being the backing track to my life basically listening to Bon Scott you know so uh, it's bound to have rubbed off on me somehow isn't it and that's exactly it you know it's uh, this it comes out of me here and there in certain songs it just it just depends what the the riff is you know and if it's kind of ACDC-ish then mm -hmm. out, out he comes I suppose you know but not not intentionally. It's just it's just in here somewhere. It's just you know. And well, thank goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wonderful. And uh, would you like to share some of the great moments that you had over the years? Oh, um, <laughs> well, great moments for me, you know, is uh, the greatest moments is obviously if you go way back to my early days. Um, in a band called Heavy Petting when I was the drummer in Heavy Petting and uh, back in the early 80s, you know, when we supported Ozzy Osbourne on the Bark at the Moon tour and Kiss on the Lick It Up tour. Um, and then we went to America and, you know, played with Rat, Motley Crue, Accept and Saxon, you know, and played yeah. stadiums over there with those guys. And yeah, so great moments there, you know. Um, but then bring it right forward to this band now and we have played up and down the length of Britain and obviously we've been asked to go and play abroad but you know it's it's all can people afford to to get us over there you know we, we'd love to go so if, if festivals can organize it then that's great we of course we would love to be there and, and play that but it's just all financial and 
getting the time off of day jobs and stuff to actually get across there and get that done. As you know, it's not an easy task, is it? <laughs> so, yeah, but um, yeah, I, I, everything's been great in this band because I'm not drumming, I'm up the front singing, so it's everything's been just amazing and the gigs have been fantastic. And it's great to have an audience, as I said earlier, singing back to you and it just amazes me, you know, it's just brings a big smile to my face, you know. It's wonderful. That's what it's all about, playing live. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, being one of the amazing band, Burned Out Trek, great songs that you have made, three amazing albums that is coming up. The third album is coming up. So all awesomeness is coming up with Burned Out Trek. So do you plan to go on a worldwide tour this later this year or probably by <laughs> next year? <laughs> yeah, well, I wish if I had the money, we'd be on a worldwide tour, yeah. You know, um, maybe if I win the lottery, I could go into where I am made and I could buy myself onto that, eh? That would be good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just if it, it just depends how the album is received. Um, if it gets played worldwide, and you never know, you just it's all a gamble, isn't it? You know, and if people like the songs, if they play the songs constantly, then other people pick up on it. And before you know it, people are asking for you to come and play in their countries at their festivals. So that, that's a great thing, you know. Like I say, we are obviously we've got people doing that already, especially in South America, you know, which would be just incredible if we got actually got to to get there. But it's just the money for them, so to get us over there, it's all about the money. That's good. And uh, any big dreams that you have <laughs> for the band? Yeah, for the band. <laughs> we just enjoy what we're doing and we just enjoy going along at the pace that we're going along you know um you know it, it's just great to at our age kind of be able to go in and uh, make rock and roll you know and it's great that we do have an audience that enjoy it so yeah like, you know if bigger gigs come and then great we, we'll laugh it up it would be so amazing to to do, like I say, uh, the older you get, you know, yeah, take your chances and get out there and get on with it, you know, mm. what else are you doing, sitting in the house, watching TV, get out and play some gigs. That's good, and uh, musically speaking, do you plan to do a lot of experimentation in the coming days? Experimentation? Um, what do you, what do you mean, like, the music musically, musically styles, yeah, yeah, style direction. Um, yeah, like I say, on this album, uh, we have sort of went a bit different uh, influences coming in from different parts. Uh, and, you know, the five of us together play and bring that to the, the recording. So it's interesting to hear everybody else's take on my songs as it is you know because then they just learn them and then they bring their part and they add it all in and it's made for a much much better album than i ever dream it will ever be you know so and i think that um this is this is going to be a really good album and yeah i just hope that everybody enjoys it especially after this is hell because this is hell is quite a uh, a large, quite a big album in its own, you know, so to try and top that and make it better is, in my head, is quite a hard job, you know, so hopefully I might have done that, but we'll wait and see what, what everyone makes of it, you know. Amazing, amazing. And uh, do you plan to uh, release any single before the release of the album? Um, yeah, but it's, like I say, it, it's just... At the moment, it's at the stage where everybody's just, the, the different companies are just trying to organise when it's coming out. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody's saying, so what's the best song? What's the what's the next best song? You know, and then we'll take it from there. So we're just kind of going, seeing who's available to do what at the moment. And uh, yeah, it'll be nearer the time before I uh, say anything or what the album's called or anything, because... There's, there's no point at the minute and 
somebody will just steal the ideas and then it'll be out there before I even release it, which is just like, <laughs> I hate, I hate the, the internet's great for everything, but not for that. It's <laughs> Don't do that. It's very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> And Gary, finally, do you have any message that you want to give to your fans around the world? Um, you just look after yourself, enjoy your life, enjoy your rock and roll. And if you do get to see us in your country, please come and see us because and talk to us. We're just normal people and we just love to see other people in chat. And yeah, just have a good time. That's why we're here. Wonderful, Gary. Wonderful. And Gary, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this wonderful opportunity to have this great interview with you. A real pleasure to meet you. And thank you for the amazing music that you have been giving us for decades. Thank you for that. And I wish you and the internet band all success and hope to see you guys sometimes on the road. Thank you very much. And you, same straight back at you. It's great to talk to you. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it greatly. Thank you, Gary, take care of yourself and have a great evening out there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.